and new polling shows Herman Cain is the new Republican frontrunner, even though he's pushing garbage like this. The leftist folk in this country that are black, they are more racist than the white. Presidential candidates, well, they have a credibility problem on jobs. Rick Perry doesn't have a jobs plan yet. Mitt Romney has one, but he probably flip-flop on it by the next week. And Herman Cain, well, by now everyone knows his plan. My top priority is nine, nine, <laughs> nine. <laughs> Cain and his plan uh, for 9% corporate tax, individual tax and sales tax would pass Congress, and here's why. We've had an outside firm, independent firm, All right. dynamically score it, and so our numbers will make it revenue neutral. All right, but the paid campaign consultant who scored the 999 plan told Politico it would be doomed to fail. The problem with the big bang changes like that is they are so alien to the current system that it would be a great big shock. And finally tonight, Herman Cain says race is a non-issue for the Republicans in his campaign. And yet, once again, Cain is out making racially charged accusations. The Republican frontrunner went on to discuss race with talk show host Neil Bortz. You know, the same Neil Bortz who called victims of Hurricane Katrina parasites in New Orleans a welfare city. Well, here's what Cain had to say about some of his African-American critics. A lot of these liberal, leftist folk in this country that are black, they are more racist than the white people that they are claiming to be racist. Yeah, I, li I like the word bigoted better than bigoted. racist. Yeah. Okay. And so that's exactly what that is. Hard to believe that Cain would continue an interview with a guy who thinks the words racist and bigoted are interchangeable. But Cain didn't want to miss out an opportunity to take a shot at President Obama. The pizza man says that there would be no contest in a debate with the commander in chief. I can even, even talk about foreign policy deeper than he can. Immigration, every issue, Neil. Oh, don't forget the black experience in America, which he's never been a part of. He's never been a part of the black experience in America. I can talk about that. I can talk about what it really meant to be poor before I was poor. Yeah. He can't. I think so, Ed. Let, let's let's be honest. When it comes to Kane, uh, you know, when it comes to race, Kane ain't able. He's not able to brilliantly engage the issue of race. He doesn't talk about it with nuance. He doesn't talk about it with sensitivity. He's using it as a strategy to try to suggest that he's the figure who's most informed yeah. about it. And what his information will be is to dismiss it, to suggest that America has overcome, we've arrived at the promised land, and that most people in America will not be held back as a result of their racism, uh, as a racism or their race, and as a result, he wants to give the Republican Party the gift of absolution.